Hi guys, my name is Kwame. I'm a developer relations and community manager at Chainsafe in the gaming department. And in this video, we are going to create an ERC20 and then embed it into the Chainsafe Gaming SDK. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is, of course, download the SDK. Please watch the previous video um, that it totally that explains everything. Um, so if you haven't done that, watch that video. Um, in this video, we're going to start off with the uh, contract wizard by Open Zeppelin. I'll have a link in the show notes here. And we'll have the ERC20. And what we're going to do is just um, add uh, create a token. So we'll give it a name. I'll just call this one chain toot. And I'll just say zero. And then we'll do a pre mint. I'm going to do a million base number and make it mintable. Now, this is the base contract that we have here. And now we can just open this up in Remix. So once this is opened up, the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, pick the actual chain that we want this uh, token to work on. And we're going to use Rinkaby. And I have mine conveniently already set to that. And if you don't, um, select the chain that you want to work with. And we will just uh, select the compiler that's compatible with the contract. And this is uh, 0 0.8.2. And then we'll just compile this contract out. OK, great. So now that we have that done, we are going to um, change the environment to um, Injected Web 3. And this will connect to Rinkaby, as we can see here. And the account that is currently connected, that's going to be um, issued to, or the owner of the contract, the gas limit. And for the contract, we'll just go down here to chain toot, which is represented by the contract name here. And then we'll just click on deploy. OK, great. Now we can just confirm. And just wait for the confirmation. And that's done. Great. So next thing we'll do here is we're going to open up um, our uh, Unity project. And in here, the one thing we're going to want to do is inside the web templates, we're going to go to the platform that we selected for deployment, which is WebGL 2020. And inside the network, we just want to make sure that the actual network that we are going to deploy this to is for, as it's shown here in Rinkeby for four, and we'll just set that network ID to four. So everything is great there. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to go into our uh, Web3 Unity, and we're going to go into our prefabs. And inside of WebGL, we're going to see that we have a transfer 20 uh, prefab, and we can just drag and drop that. And then we'll see that we have a button here. Dropping this down, we'll see that we actually have the transfer 20 script. And then we have the contract information. We have the account that we want to deploy to and the amount in way. And this is just going to be one unit token. So what we're going to need to do here is actually update the contract address to the one that we had just issued. So we can see that here. We're just going to copy this. And we'll pass that in here, paste. Sometimes it's better just to delete it out, paste it in just to make sure. And then the account that we want to um, deploy this to. So I'm going to just switch my account. This is the one I want to send it to. And we'll just update this with the contract or sorry for the account that we're going to send this token to. So now that all that is done and configured, we can just basically save our project. We'll click on build and run. OK, great. Now our project's loading up. We have our login. Um, button here. So we'll click on login. We'll select MetaMask. We will see our, um, our account. 
make sure that you're using, if you have multiple ones, make sure it's the one that actually deployed the contract, it has funds in it. Click on next, we will connect. Okay, so we'll see here from the previous video, the address um, that deployed the contract and then the transfer 20. So let's click on that button. We see here that we have um, the little gas fee that we have to um, pay, the actual token that we created in the one unit token. So we'll click on confirm and we will wait for that to, um, to execute and process. Okay, great, that was successful. Now, what we're gonna want to do is we'll go back into Remix and we're gonna copy this um, contract for the token. And we're going to switch our account to the one that we sent it to. We'll go into assets, we'll import the token, and then we'll apply the token address. So we'll paste that in there. You'll see here that it's the same one. We'll add our custom token. You see that the balance is now one. We'll import that. And there we go. We have successfully created an ERC-20, added it to the Chainsafe SDK, and transferred it using the Transfer20 FreeFab. That's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.